Hey, what's up, y'all? So Rena Vincent back up in here exploring life like always. How's everybody doing out there? You know what it's time for. I'm a little late, but as you know, last week, the NBA Finals, NBA Playoffs came to an end. 2021 NBA Playoffs Finals prediction results and thoughts. Let's go ahead and get through it. Once again, last weekend, I mean last week, Tuesday was NBA playoffs went to a game six, Bucks in six. Your homie Arena Vincent got the prediction correct. As you know, I picked the Bucks to defeat the Phoenix Suns. I don't think I picked the game. I don't remember. <laughs> but of course, Bucks in six was a classic. Bucks in six was, you know, the thing that people wanted. Uh, other than a sweep, of course. Um, but again, I got that pick correct. I had the Milwaukee Bucks to become champions. Hell, I even bet money on that. On a, um, and I won some cash, but not a lot. I just won like 15 I think I won like $19 and all something like that. Because I, I, I bet low. I don't bet high amounts and all that. But anyway, let's go ahead and get through it. The Phoenix Suns lose after they came out swinging. Taking two games, it was two games to zero. Basically, Phoenix Suns won both of their games at home, and Milwaukee and the Bucks went back to Milwaukee down. You know what I mean? And of course, the classic, if they go down 3-0, it's done. It's a wrap. But the Bucks didn't. They came through and they took all the home games they had in Milwaukee, they had two home games in Milwaukee, went back to Phoenix. And that's the cream of the crop. That's the one where uh, uh, Drew Holiday snatches the ball from Devin Booker, gets jacked like some punk, and then he alley oops it to Giannis. Um, classic play. Um, and um, the rest is history, man. They went back to Milwaukee. Bucks and six. That's for the culture. You know what I mean? <laughs> Shout out to uh, all the Milwaukee Bucks fans out there. I know it's a long time coming uh, for all the Milwaukee Bucks fans. Shout out to the uh, uh, WSSP 1250 AM Bucks uh, pick, and game, pick and Save post game show uh, sh uh, host Steve Sparky Pfeiffer. What's up, man? You got your championship. Bart Winkler over there, same station in Milwaukee. You know, all and all the other Bucks fans out there, man. Congratulations, y'all got the championship. I got the pick right. And uh Chris Paul should have became a Laker, man. Should have got if you were a Laker, you would have had two rings by now, baby. <laughs> no doubt. Um and Chris Paul, man. I know the narrative was a lot of people thought that, you know, the NBA wanted Chris Paul to get his ring. And of course LeBron James shows up. Uh the only thing about LeBron James showing up, man. I get it. Supposedly Chris Paul went to your finals when you went to your first finals. I get that. But you know, I guess that's, that's, that's kind of lame, man. But I get it. See, all you guys are, uh, uh, part of the same players union and you guys are friends. So I get why there's no right. I mean, if I got eliminated by somebody's team, I wouldn't go watch them play. But, um, or if I did, I wouldn't be rooting for those motherfuckers. <laughs> but a lot of people wanted to keep it in the West. The Western Conference, so some people wanted the Phoenix Suns to win. The the whole Chris Paul uh angle. Some people want Chris Paul to get his finally get his ring and then retire in the sunset. Devin Booker, oh, he can shoot 40, but that's all he can do, uh, type of thing. But Bucks got it done. They are your 2021 NBA champions. Congratulations once again. They get the ring. They had the parade. And uh Bucks and six, baby. Congratulations. I was happy when that happened. Um, my thoughts on it were I just gave you most of them. Um, I didn't really watch a lot of it because uh, anytime I pick a team, uh, the Bucks are not my team. Like, I don't root for them uh, all the time. But I have nothing against them. Like, you know, I have no personal, like, oh, I can't stand that team. And um, so sometimes when I get into it, I don't like listening or watching the games because I get too mad about it. Like I'll be in the middle of doing something, something happens, and I'll be like, "Motherfucker!" You know, what I mean? <laughs> and I'll get crazy. So, so that's why I try not to listen or watch. Um, but of course, I'll look at the box scores after the end of the games, and I'll check it out. Giannis deserving of the MVP. Um, Chris Middleton showed up as well. 
even though he had some bad games. If it wasn't Chris, Chris Middleton and Brooke Lopez showing up in the Eastern Conference Final, y'all wouldn't even be there. The Bucks wouldn't have been there. Um, yeah, you can always say they, they got lucky, the Bucks got lucky, but that doesn't matter, baby. You still hold up that champion. You're still champion. You still hold up that trophy. You're still champions no matter what. It does it suck that uh, the other opponent's key players got injured. Trey Young in injured. Uh, Kyrie got hurt. Uh, James Harden got hurt. It does suck. Yeah, but that's life, baby. That's life. Bucks deserved it. They earned it. Giannis deserves that MVP going all out. And um, we'll see what happens next year, man. But like I said, I'm a Laker, Raptor, and Wizards fan. Those are my three teams. So those are the teams I beat bias and root for till the end. Uh, but Bucks and Six, congratulations. They won the title. And there you go, man. That's all I got for you right now. As always, thank you for exploring the arena we call life with your homie, Arena Vincent. Vincent 365 production novello. You know what to do. Give me that like. Give me that share. Once again, Bucks and Six got it done. They're your 2021 NBA champions. I got my pick right. On to next season, baby. National Basketball Association. Until next season. Peace.